Yo, my style them belly, belly. Me a star, rock me tell it, tell it. Orbel Expressions, come and dance our professor, artistic director for theater expressions. That are going. Video yeah, exclusive, lead of team exclusive. Both of you recently did interviews uh, on local television, basically talking about you know some some things, some issues that you had within the community. Um, Orville, was, as we said, we'll start with you. Talk to us about some of the issues that you have with the new school. The, the interview when we did on TV still wasn't addressing just dancers and new school dancers. It was just addressing a, a term where people are used that I couldn't understand. So it was really a legitimate, legitimate question the media asked. And it was about trap dancer. So I was asking what exactly is trap dancer? You know what I mean? So, I was asking any dancer, any producer, any person who's in music that could explain to me what a trap dancer is. I know what trap is, and I know what dance hall is. But in terms of fusing the two music together, I wanted somebody to play something and identify to me what makes it trap dance hall, what element of dance hall is in it. How the dancers got involved now was the fact that I was explaining that based on the fact that the Matapo is trap music that is a part of the culture now. Are, are, are part of what is going on in dance hall. It changed the style of how dancers dance. So it is hard to call it pure dance hall because it is not truly influenced by dance hall beats. It's influenced by a hip hop type of beat. And if it's influenced by a hip hop type of beat, it, it now will look like dance hall because the different components that are used to make the dance them now will look like dance hall. So that was my issue. Are there any other issues outside of that that you can pinpoint in regards to some things that the new school are doing that you think might not be productive for the culture from your perspective? One of the things is paying attention to, for me, how dance hall moves evolve. You know, in terms of how the moves are created. I think that moves are created you now just for fun. There is no true soul in it, there is no true story behind it. It is not locked into what is the dance hall culture. So I think that is one of the reasons. You know, with everybody creating so much, then I, I kind of feel that some of the things that get watered down. So that is, that is part of the issue we may have. You know, with just the, the, the amount of things that's been created and some of the things that the body is doing where don't look like how men move in traditional dance hall. All right, um, Zidane, from your perspective now, tell me some of the issues that maybe you as a, a, a representative for the new school dancers would have with some of the old school um, veterans. Well, first and foremost, we need to address to the people who think there is a rift or there is a feud or anything between me and others. Now, first and foremost, there is no bad vibe, nothing. And if there is even one developing, we fix it. Right? Because sometimes people will make the vibe worse than how it is. So this is something we have to fix first. And we fixed it. So now I'm telling you all there is no bad vibes. And in regards to our interview the other day, it wasn't about even trap dance out, to be honest. It wasn't really about trap dance out. Yeah. It was more about feeling a bit, getting more respect. Because sometimes when you're dancing, like it feels like what we are doing isn't important or it's not a part of dance or it's not needed. But I understand um, Abel's point and I actually agree with the majority of what he said, to be honest. Not many may know that I've been dancing from mid school time. Now I'm known as a new school because that's the time when we got our exposure. So the drums, the beat, the rhythm, that's what I really love in dance hall. To be honest, I don't really like the mixture of the dance hall itself, but sometimes when you're in something, you have to just adjust to it. And adjusting, we also have to know where we're going, right? So exclusive, even Mr. Arvin, no, can I call him, can I respect him too. Know that exclusive is one of the groups who actually keep a little of dance hall alive still 
with our movements too. We are a group who actually try to please all our fans because our fans is all over the world and we're not just one. We don't just dance one way, we dance a lot of type of style. So you will see us dancing a gunman song, wicked, you will see us dancing a, a slow groovy song. And you will see us even going back to the old school, to the mental, to the scare, to the kumina, everything that represents the culture of Jamaica. So this defies and explain the way of we exclusive dance and sometimes we show that to people and they take it the wrong way. Right? So what we want even the, the, the old school or the more mid school people to understand if they probably see a step that is not so much dance hall, it's not just, as I said before, influenced by only dance hall. And the next point that I agree with Harvey with it, it's not dance hall, you have to just admit here, this is a mixture. Yeah? So we exclusive, I can't say we are we are, we are completely free of not mixing dance hall. But as I said before, the way of life we live also uh, make we we mix it. A lot of the new school dancers also got the sense that they weren't getting like any credit as well too because I mean there was a part in the interview where even Orville, you know, you big up some of the people, some people are and a lot of the other new school dancers felt like they weren't they, they don't get recognized as well either. There was a sense of saying that well you know, these are the people that are doing good in regards to the new school or whatever. And it didn't seem like you were recognizing very many people outside of your circle then. Oh, okay. So that also was a bit of, of the issue as well too. And, and I think that just speaks to our overall kind of feeling of neglect or disregard with, between the new school and the old school. Yeah. How, what do you think about that? <laughs> Alright, um, it was not... If people go back to the interview, because one of the things we would want to do, because we call a meeting the other day with, with dancers, and one of the things we would want to do officially is almost play over the interview so we can point out to people for, for pay attention, because sometimes when the emotion gets involved, we, we overlook certain things. The, what Winford wanted to know is based on the fact that, because everybody knows that new school is trending now things that's happening in new school is trending. What he wanted to know is who are the persons who are still surviving? Is it just a kind of new school thing? So the, the people that we name, we name out are persons. I think the only two people that would be new school that I spoke about was Sashi and, and Shani's expressions. And I put them in there because they also teach some of the old school things there. Like Shani will take some of the things from Shelly and use it and Sashi will take some of the things. So it wasn't about talking about new school because new school was already trending. So it's not, I was just identifying the people who are still in there being booked fully where people might think not working as much. So I tell people, say, yeah man, I'm still booked. So it wasn't overshadowing because there are a number, including exclusive, a number of new school dancers where make and call. And people remember when, when, when exclusive uh, enter world reggae dance competition and came out as winners, they never used, I don't know what even new school things they use, they use a whole traditional part of dance hall that came right up into dance hall. So I am not giving the impression to anybody like said new school dancers not doing dance hall. I am not giving them the impression like they even just do pure trap dance hall and our trap dance and not the dance hall. What I am asking for is for them to be able to identify. So if somebody asks them, I want to say to them, say, all right, let me tell you why my dance is like this. My dance is a mixture of this and this. Because we have to evolve. And we have to merge things. That's how we, 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 we culture develop. We, we have to remember, say, it was R&B and, and mentor that gave us scale. So we've been mixing and merging. But we have to know in terms of theoretically, if somebody could ask you, because now when we go on the international scene, people asking more about certain aspects of the culture where it's not just the physical part of it, not just the dance part of it, but they want to know some history about where you come from, how the dance develop out of your culture. So all me want new school dancers to just educate themselves about it and don't just say because this is what is trending now, this is what I'm going to jump in, but we can't, I won't be able to explain to people what portion of it is my culture and what portion of it portion of it is somebody else's culture. Because if you're, if you're doing the dance and, the, and what you're doing is 60% trap and 40% dance, it makes it more trap than dance. 
so you can't honestly call it dancehall or authentic dancehall. So this is what me want dancers to be aware of. And me and I've, I've done so much for new school dancehall and I want people to understand. There are new school people in my group too. So I am not bashing new school dancers. I am telling new school dancers I could get some more information and some more education because the Europeans, the South Americans, the Asians, they are all educating themselves about dancehall from a cultural perspective. So we don't want our youth them look bad, but when them go out there just dance them a dance. And when them finish dance, the people who are truly earning money are the persons who are studying the culture, outside of the culture, while coming in, take what they can take from the dancers and go in. How many battles may fight for dancers? And dancers don't even. Some of them don't even know that the battle are fight. They only want to know that they are tour, or their friends, their immediate friends are tour. I speak to dancers, I don't speak to just a group. I speak to dancers generally. I speak to the Jamaican culture generally. So it's just wanting to get dancers. When I did the meeting the, the other day, the first thing I do is start off by apologizing to any dancer where I might have said something to offend them. But there is always the evolutionary and there is always the revolutionary. The revolutionary and man will have to step up and make sure say, if it looked like it got too wayward from culture, then pull it back. And they might say some things that might not be popular with people. It don't mean them wrong. The approach might not be right. But it's just the passion sometimes. Because the evolutionary, it just a change with the time. So we want to them to remember. When you evolve, keep the root with you. Because many times they start trim up a tree. They never trim the root you know, and they never trim the trunk. You know. They trim the branches. So if you step into a business here, you just have to be a branch. You can't be trimmed, trimmed at any time. And nobody will hear nothing more about you again because you, you get cut off on the tree completely. So you want to be a part where you get you're so locked into the root that you are always going to be offering something to the culture. So when we talk about culture, we just want our people to understand how potent dancehall is and how it is important and necessary for us to be grounded and rooted in it, even from a theoretical perspective, so we can always pass it on. So we remain, we always remain relevant to what it is. I am not a trending dancer. Zidane is a trending dancer. But I survive because of the knowledge that we have. You know what I mean? When if Zidane not trending next year, people are supposed to still have book exclusive because of what exclusive have to offer, which is a whole lot. Because they just, just the fact that they are from St. Thomas, I would never even understand what St. Thomas and Coming has given to dancer in terms of just how the money, the, the, the bodies move because of, of that dance, Kumina. Because Kumina is the most authentic African retention of the, the rest of the, the money we have. That's what they bring to the streets. So me tell them, they say, it's not, if one of them have a bus in a dance hall, it's when. It did ever happen, as long as they did remain focused. So with that now, and they being at this stage where they are influential, especially to the younger dancers, we have a farm an alliance that when if I talk to Zidane, Zidane can talk to 25 new school dancers and they will believe and run into it. Because not everybody ever listen to me. But when I say something to them, that's, the, that's, that's, where, we are, that's where we are creating them. That's where we are seeing them. So there is no more people thinking because people strive upon that. Thing. People strive upon the fact that what exclusive uh, 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 expressions that's up. Zidane and, and, and Professor in the argument, we want to see our Half the time, if I something positive, they might not run in as much. We just have bridged the gap now, that's all right. Good. Basically, based on what you just said a while ago, I kind of understand, say, you, you, you don't necessarily have an issue with the mixing and the, the eclectic nature of the new school, but it's, you still want it to have, to be grounded and rooted in dance art, correct? Yeah. Um, not everything in mm -hmm. You can decide, say, this is a completely evolved move. And this is what we would have call something that is more trap based on what the music are telling me. Mm -hmm. But I want a dancer. If you do a class, you're supposed to cancel. Let me sectionalize my class in a three parts. I'm going to show you some old school dancers, some middle school dancers, and I'm going show you our fusion style now. This is a complete fusion style of, of what we use a mixture of dancer and, and hip hop or trap or whatever. 